Hey guys, Jay here from BornToProduce.com and I just wanted to quickly stop by and give you all my latest and greatest keyboard shortcuts for Cubase so you can get around Cubase a lot quicker. Take a look at this. So the one I use all the time is G and H for zooming in and out. There's lots and lots of other ways you can zoom in and out but the one I use all the time is G and H. And if you do Shift and G and H, you can zoom in vertically. If you want to quickly make something a lot taller, just press Z, highlight the event and press Z. Once you press Z again, it puts everything back to only one row, which is a little bit annoying. So I always just come down here and do zoom tracks to two rows. And if you click on the event and do Alt or Option S, it zooms right into that event. So that's really, really handy as well. And again, Z to undo that. Let's go three rows. Another way to make the track taller but in increments is hold down control or command and the down arrow and it will do them in steps or you can go the up arrow to put them back and you can also do left arrow to move the part left and right according to your grid settings. Uh, this also works in MIDI where you can come into the event part in the MIDI editor just highlight one of the notes and control or command left and right. Most common one of all is Command or Control Z or Z, depending on which country you're in. And obviously that just undoes what you've just done. But Command or Control Shift Z or Z puts everything back. It, it's a redo command. Just note that this is different in the mixer window and I'll be coming on to that later on. So to set a region, obviously you know you can just draw it in, but if you wanna do it with the keyboard, you can just hold down Control or Command for your left point and Alt or Option and click with the right point. Best one of all, of course, is highlight the event and press P. But my absolute favorite one of all time is to highlight the event and press Alt P because it automatically sets your loop and also starts it playing. So pressing L goes to the left of the event you've got selected. I'll just select that again on this one and press L. If you press one, on your number pad, which is on the right hand side of your keyboard, it will go to the left hand side of the loop. And if you press two, it will go to the right side. So I always use one all the time. And then just press play, space bar. So the next one is in the lower zone. So I'm just gonna activate that now. Let's come down to the mixer. And you can obviously just click these with your mouse, to go whether you want inserts or sends, etc. But you can do control alt or command option up and down to select and you can go left and right to go from the mix console editor sampler and chord pads so that's control alt or command option you can also highlight a track with your mouse but obviously you can do this with your keyboard as well so if you hold down shift and use your left and right arrows you can start selecting multiple channels and this works in the mixer as well on F3. Another one I use quite a lot is F for auto scroll, which is up here. So if it gets to the end of the project, it will automatically scroll. But sometimes this is off and it will get to the end of the project and it won't scroll. So it's just far easier to press F than it is to go up here and do it with the mouse. On the number pad, I use star for record backslash for putting the loop on or off just demonstrate that just draw a loop in here uh, yeah backslash for putting the loop on or off sometimes use that although i use the alt p command quite a lot so selecting multiple parts uh, with the range tool so you can press number two on your keyboard not the right hand number pad just the normal two at the top of your keyboard with a range control and you can highlight multiple parts and you can press delete or highlight it and press A to put a fade in. You can see the fades there. Or you can come to this side and do the fades, pressing A, just undo that. So another way to delete is called a ripple delete or a butt delete, which means instead of just taking out this gap here, it's also gonna bring everything to the right of it and butt it along to the left. Just show you what I mean. Shift control X, and you can see that it's taken out the gap and also put these events to the right 
and buttered it up. So you haven't got to do that yourself. That's really, really useful. Another good one is just Shift and X, and that will cut both sides, allowing you to just quickly get your normal tool and reduce the volume or whatever it is you want to do. X is for crossfade. See, if you overlap a couple of pieces like that, you get the crossed hatch lines, but these two pieces of audio are not crossfaded yet until you press X. There we go, so I use that all the time as well. I use J all the time for putting my snap on and off, as you can see up here. So guys, if you want to help us make more videos like this, then don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of our videos just like this. You can highlight a track and press S to solo it. Press S again to unsolo it, or you can do the same with mute. Same happens if you press on the event. Select the event, do S or M. If you want to actually only mute a particular event and not the whole track, do Shift and M. But Shift and M doesn't unmute it. You have to do Alt or Option and M. I use C all the time for metronome on and off. I use Q all the time to quantize. Another one I use all the time is Control D to duplicate but you can obviously just use the middle pointer there on the right hand side in the middle. That does the same thing. So you can press eight for your draw tool, but I normally just press down alt or option, even quicker. Now pressing three gets your split tool, which is fine. You can split your audio or your MIDI wherever you want. And if you want finer increments, you just press control. And to take it one step further, if you press down alt, you get a, like a three dash symbol above your scissors and it will now cut your piece of audio into several parts. So I did that on the first grid line, which is half a bar. If I did it on the bar, hold down Alt, it then cuts it every bar. If I do every two bars, Alt and left click, it now We've now got two bar segments and so on and so on. Although it's not a keyboard shortcut, I use right click on the mouse all the time to choose my tools. Sometimes I use number two for range. But mainly if I've got a icon selected that's not the normal one, the object selection, I normally just right click quickly just to go back to my normal tool. I don't press one. Obviously I can be on range and press one and do it, but if you're on range or any other tool for that matter, I just quickly just right click and it just goes back to object selection tool. So sometimes I have a floating transport bar, which is F2, but sometimes I just use the one down here. F3 I use all the time to bring up the mixer. F4 I do use for sorting out my inputs and outputs and control room. F5 is media bay, but I don't use it because I use the media bay over the right hand side. F6, I do use automation panel sometimes, but it's also up here. F7 is for direct offline processing, but I don't use that very often. F8 is video player, I don't use that very often. But anyone that doesn't have a MIDI keyboard, you can press Alt or Option K, and you can now play your instrument with your QWERTY keyboard. So I'm just going to quickly flip over to the mixer by pressing F3 and some of the same functions apply. The main one I want to point out here is that undo is different. I'm just going to put on my left zone, but undo up here is different. So let me demonstrate this. If I move this fader here and I want to undo that and I just do control Z, you're going to get things on your project window being undone. So just control shift Z to undo that. What you've got to do, as it says up here, is Alt Z. So Alt or Option Z or Z. And if you watch this fader down here, there you go. So it's Alt or Option in the mixer, Control or Command when you're in the arrangement or project window. You can also shift and left and right, like we, like we did in the other window, to select multiple tracks. Another really good one is Shift and Alt or Option. And that highlights quick link for you. So if you wanted to just quickly link these and bring down the volume, just hold down shift and alt and bring down the volume, or you can quickly do the panning together or something like that. That saves you having to come up here and click that. Um, G and H works here as well for 
zooming in and you can zoom in vertically by using this up here. So guys, they're all my favorite shortcuts. I'm just gonna quickly show you how to set up your own. Go to edit and key commands. And then you can just, if you wanna change one, just search for what it is you wanna change. Let's just say you want quantize. And then you can assign keys over here. So those are my favorite shortcuts that I use in Cubase on a daily basis. But what are yours? Which ones did I miss out? Let me know in the comments below and we'll have a chat about it. All the best. See ya.